Theo is our godsend. He was born via emergency C-section and about three years after he was born, he started digressing in his speech, got hooked up with the Shriners Hospital out of Minneapolis and were there for four or five years. Went back and forth once to twice a year to figure out why he was the way he was. They were able to diagnose him with cerebral palsy and epilepsy with myoclonic seizures. It was just too expensive, we couldn't continue. The care that their child was receiving was impacted because of cost. There's a family burden that is very real for families with children's cerebral palsy and other disorders. We give a true evidence-based information to clinicians, to therapists, who are the ones out there doing the real work. I got in touch with the Omaha Children's Hospital and was like, hey, is there any way you guys have a team available to transition us from where we are to you guys because you're so much closer to home. One of the doctors at two years in, she was like, hey, there's this research that does gait studies. Would you want to be a part of that? And I was like, absolutely. The kids are excited to be there. The parents are grateful for the opportunity to have a way to quantify their kids' movement patterns. My research is in cerebral palsy gait rehabilitation. Who better than UNO Biomechanics to try and help inform that choice? They were able to pinpoint and locate that his hamstrings were what was causing his spastic diplasia, and that is his form of cerebral palsy. A year and almost a half post-surgery, and it is a night and day difference. It feels like family, to be honest. They feel like your brothers and your sisters. It's a really fulfilling experience to have these one-on-one -on -one interactions with children and their parents. He doesn't let his disability turn him away from anything. Even if he falls down, he gets right back and he dusts himself off and he just goes at it. We get to help these people and help our fellow community grow into the people that they can be and should have the opportunity to be because we can help intervene early on. Get in touch with the Children's Hospital at Omaha or even the UNO. It's going to help your child and your family in so many ways. Parents, please reach out. Reach out to me directly. Kiddos with cerebral palsy exist on quite a spectrum. I only get to really learn about the ones who are going to Children's for orthopedic issues. There's a whole mess of you out there, and we need to better understand it. Do not be a stranger, and UNO Biomechanics is happy to be a home for you. Just because your child has a disability doesn't mean that they're broken. They are here for a reason.